getting married? We're going to get married in September. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Two more that will make it. Yay, a brave couple. <laughs> Okay, take it away, hot stuff. All right, so listen, premarital agreements, most people don't understand. This is a contract. It's a business contract that people need to take a look at to divide income assets in the event of divorce, not only divorce, possibly death. So you want to make sure that you talk about these things before you actually walk down the aisle. So have you guys ever thought about this or discussed it at all? We have talked about it. Really? And I'm, I'm for it. And he feels like a lot of people feel that you're setting yourself up for disaster if you're getting a prenup. Can I maybe tell you? Maybe not disaster. Right. Maybe like you, don't tr like you don't trust me kind of thing. Mm. OK, yeah. let me just say. My mother's first reaction when she heard that John, who she likes very much, my husband, and I were getting married, she said, give the phone to my daughter, and she said, get a prenup. <laughs> um, I actually didn't, but the conversation that you have in the preparing of one, I think actually can bring you closer together rather than further apart. Because over the years, we've been together for like, gosh, forever now, like 15 years. Mm -hmm. Over the years, we've had the discussion about all the things we should have had the discussion about before we ever got married in the first place. Right. Right? 100%. Topics change, things change. You have children, you have dogs. And you know what? You never know how to navigate the waters unless you have a strong marital foundation before you actually walk down the so aisle. So explain the demonstration you've put together here. This is prenuptial agreement 101. You guys are getting a tutorial in about one to two minutes. Most people <laughs> think they know what's in a prenup. I want to make sure you understand. Obviously, your assets, everything that you own should go into a prenup. And you figure out, are you going to jointly share them while you're married, or are you going to keep everything separately? That'll save you a lot of fights right there, right? 100% mm -hmm. talking about these issues. Anyone that has any type of stock, account, or retirement monies need to talk about how they're going to plan. Are you a saver or a spender? And what are you going to do with the increase in the accounts when they hopefully go up and up and up? Because it's not just what you have when you get married. It's the contributions and how they increase. Debt. Listen, if I'm getting divorced, I don't know about you guys. I don't want your debt, and I don't want your debt. So let's make sure that you keep debt, debt separate. Real estate, obviously, most people's biggest asset. You want to make sure you understand what happens in the event of divorce, who's moving out, is it in joint name or separate. Very important. I don't know if you guys have loans, <laughs> college loans. You're both laughing, so I think Everybody you do. Everybody on the planet has loans. Yes, yeah, I yeah. have big, big loans. So you want to make sure that you're going to know whose responsibility they are in the event of divorce. Now, obviously, inheritance in most states is not subject to distribution. However, you want to make sure that if you get a boatload of money during the marriage and you put it into a joint asset, what happens? That other person may get your inheritance. You want to be clear on what happens. Alimony. People hate to talk about alimony. Women make a lot of money. Look where we are today. So you want to make sure if you're going to be the breadwinner in the future, you may want to talk about waiving alimony. Who's going to take care of each other during the marriage? Because sometimes men stay home with children. Talk about it now. More and more. Figure all it the out. Time, actually. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Now, are we putting photos in a prenup? No. No. Uh, really? People fight over <laughs> photos? They do, but we're, we're just making sure that everyone's listening. No, we're not putting <laughs> photos in a prenup. <laughs> everyone's awake and they're with me. Now, unless you have some, you know, Billy the Kid, something that's worth $2 million, you don't have to put photos in. Do you have to put furniture in a prenup? Depends on the furniture. Right, I mean, if you have fancy, expensive <laughs> yeah. stuff, of course. If you have just a normal, you know, lazy chair, no, <laughs> nobody really cares about that. All right, most important thing to me, because I love my animal uh, very much, pets. pets. Pet Absolutely. Custody. I don't know if you have animals now. Oh, yeah. Crucial, you talk about in the event of divorce, what happens? Are you going to have joint visitation? Who's going to have the pet most of the time? I'm serious. I'm telling you, I deal with this all uh, the time. Unfortunately, people. I have friends that when they <laughs> got divorced, their family Big was deal. ripped apart and they were pet children. This not is human. akin to right. custody for a child, so it's very important. Social media clause, one of my favorite things to do in every prenup. Not everybody does it. Why? You guys are great now in love taking selfies and snapshots and who knows what kind of videos you may have in the archives. You don't <laughs> want them coming out. In the future, you want to make sure that nobody can post anything. That's a new one, but a goodie. New one. Yeah. Nobody's posting anything without your written permission. And if you do, there's punitive damages. And clothing, and no. unless it's vintage Chanel, no way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did we just completely freak you out? Uh, you actually helped me a lot. Yeah. All right, we yeah, want to I, mean, I think that these are great things to at least have a conversation about, don't you guys? Yeah. Definitely. It can't hurt. Discussion, yeah. open communication, that's the key to living a happy, healthy relationship.